When eastern Kentucky was struck by heavy rain and dangerous flooding, for many people, the water came with little warning. It came fast. If we'd have waited too much longer, we probably wouldn't have made it out. We watched the water keep coming, keep coming. It got up on my house to here. Brenda's an 89-year-old widow without much of an income. And now, to go with no husband, <laughs> nothing. That's all I have. Brenda lost a lot, but she managed to keep her loved ones safe. The night of the flood, she had family staying over. We had three of our great-grandchildren here. And we loaded them in a car. That's where we stayed till it was over. And I tried to tell them, we've got each other. Operation Blessing quickly mobilized to help families in Eastern Kentucky take their first steps toward recovery. Volunteers arrived at Brenda's house, ripped up damaged floors, and tore out flood-soaked drywall. Operation Blessing is a blessing. They've worked so hard today, and it is so hot. They've moved stuff out. They've carried garbage. They've worked so, so hard. Operation Blessing also brought the family emergency meal kits, water, and cleaning supplies to help them get back on their feet. They have to love people and love the Lord to do things like that for people, or they couldn't do it. They're loving people. Thanks to the support of Operation Blessing Partners, volunteers are helping families with their damaged homes and also bringing much needed hope. I would like to say to the partners, thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you.